she's a little diva. She doesn't want to be on camera right now. But um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. So we're going to be going over makeup and clothes and everything nice. <laughs> and yeah, I'm going to show you how I created this look. It's pretty much just a simple bronzy, glowy, everyday makeup look. Something that I would wear every day. Something similar to what I do wear every single day and I'm going to be showing you what I picked out to wear today. So if you want to see how I achieved this overall look, if you want to get ready with me, if you want to come along with me on this little getting ready journey, <laughs> then just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you already like it because you're the real MVP if you do that. And yeah, let's get into this video. Starting off, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water to prime those little flakes of mine. And two to three sprays is more than enough to like get our full face ready for foundation. And today I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me. I don't know why my cap, it like got turned around like this, but you win some, you lose some. This foundation is bomb. It's actually one of my favorite foundations. I've really, really been liking it a lot lately, so I've been using it pretty much on an everyday basis and grabbing this one over a lot of my high-end foundations. Oh, and I'm in the shade 230 Natural Buff for this foundation. I'm gonna start to try to talk about, or at least mention the um, foundation shades that I use, just because I've actually been getting a lot of comments recently saying that you guys have like similar skin tones and stuff, so I'm gonna try to do that. Remind me if I forget, but I will try to start doing that. So, now we are actually gonna be moving on to eyes, and I'm just gonna keep it really simple for today. I mean, yeah, I'm just like, I'm literally just running errands, so I don't even really, need to put on makeup, but I felt like putting on makeup, so we're gonna put on makeup. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome. You guys know I love this stuff. It's so, so beautiful. Like, I really like the color of it, and I feel like it's perfect for just, like, simple days when, you know, you wanna put on makeup, but you just wanna keep it simple. Always go in with a fluffy brush. So this is the Sigma E40 Taper Blending, and I will go and blend out the edges, but I actually don't have any other product on this brush. But for some reason it like actually starts to look like I do like it looks like we put down a transition shade But really it is just like that one Product and I really like that because it's nice and quick and easy Um, I cannot tell you guys how many compliments I get whenever I wear this eyeshadow and also actually the foundation so Okay, Maybelline, we see you and I'm gonna be adding on a wing because even though it's a casual day I'm here to slay because it's a casual <laughs> um, no, but I am actually gonna be adding on a wing, so I'm gonna use this Sigma gel liner. You guys know I literally always use this, so I don't even know why I like always repeatedly tell you because you know what I'm using, the Sigma wing liner, and then also the Sigma wing liner brush. This is the E6. And I'm just gonna do exactly what I always do as far as like taking a line from the end of the eye to the tail of the brow, and then coming back towards the center and filling that in. For mascara, I'm actually going to be using this one from Lancome. This is the Hypnose Drama Mascara. And I'm just going to be doing a really light coat, but this is an amazing mascara. Yes, I do wear lashes even if I'm just going to run errands because I feel like it like completes the look most of the time. Um, if I'm really not wearing much makeup, then I won't, but for today, I'm going to. I love the light version of the Iconics from House of Lashes because they're so fluttery and beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna move back to the face now. The concealer that I've been obsessed with lately is actually this one from Maybelline. It's the Instant Age Rewind. This is like such an OG product and I used to use it back in the day but I recently rediscovered it and I have not been able to put it down. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this all over the face to brighten up and just balance everything out. Then I like to add on some of the Becca Cosmetics Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. And I literally just put it onto my beauty blender. And um, <laughs> I don't know where these accents are coming from, but um, anyways, I uh, go ahead and just like pat it onto the back of my hand first because the back of your head is ridiculous. You can tell I'm very hyper today. So anyways, I just go ahead and pounce that into the top of the cheekbone. And we are going to be adding on some contour as well while we're here. So I'm going to be using this cream contour palette from CoverGirl. It's the uh, True Blend Contour Palette. And I'm using this middle shade. You can tell I use it quite often. And I'm just going to take that on an e.l.f. contouring brush and go underneath the cheekbones. I find it easier to almost like stamp it on because sometimes when I use more wiping motions, it actually takes away my foundation. So... 
This is just what I found to work best. Now that we're done with the creams, it is time to set all of this down. And I'm gonna be using this MAC Cosmetics Light Plus Mineralized Skin Finish with a little brush. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be baking today, obviously. I'm just gonna be using this powder and pressing it into the skin. I do like to take it in pressing motions once again, just so we're not wiping away the product that we have underneath. And then set the rest of the face. I'm gonna take the same, it's actually the same product, but it's in a much darker shade. It's the shade Dark Golden Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. And I'm gonna take this on a Japanese brush and start to bronze up the face, warm it up a lot more. Um, we already have that contour down, so I'm not gonna worry about like contouring anything else. But yeah, we just want to kind of set the edges, but also warm up the face. We're gonna go ahead and finish off the lower lash line now. So I'm gonna take my MAC palette and um, I think I'm gonna mix together these two shades right here, which is Soft Brown and Saddle, and just create a really small shadow. You could even use your bronzer for this step, honestly. Um, it's just to have a little something there, but we don't want it to be too intense. Then for that lower lash line waterline, I'm gonna be taking this Lancome um, pencil. It's so pretty. It's like a little bronze shade, and it's actually the shade, it's actually called bronze. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this and put it directly into that lower lash line. This has such a good formula too. It's like very, very extremely long wearing. And that same mascara is gonna go right onto those bottom lashes to complete the eyes. Oh! 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 oh I poked myself in the eyes so hard. Please don't cry, please don't cry. Okay, we're all good. We're all good, homies. Alrighty, now to finish off the look, we're just gonna top it off with some blush, and this is <laughs> NARS Satellite of Love. I feel like I always get tongue twisted whenever I get excited, but the reason I'm getting excited, I really love this product, like, for reals, girl or boy, whoever wants a beautiful blush in their life, this is key. I, know, I don't know, I've like really been using it every single day, so. It's just like super subtle, but I feel like it had adds something so beautiful because it has actually like little speckles of not glitter, but like sparkle. Ooh, it's pretty. Then for highlighter, I'm gonna be using this bad boy. This is Smashbox Spotlight Palette in gold. I actually really, really love the formula of these lately, or I've been loving them lately, I should say, um, just because they're pretty poppin'. Pretty. Pretty darn poppin'. So I'm actually taking the shade Crank It Up Gold and Turn It On Gold and mixing those two together to create our highlight. And for lips, I'm using Hoover Lip Pencil from MAC Cosmetics to line the outsides. And then to fill in, I'm gonna be using M Cosmetics French Nude Infinite Lip Cloud. Which honestly, if you haven't tried these, they are bomb diggity. They're matte, but they're not drying at all. And they really, <laughs> like they legit feel like clouds on your lips. And we're just gonna set everything down with the Make a Forever Mist and Fix, my favorite setting spray in the world. And this is the finished makeup look. So, I'm so used to like ending videos here, but yeah, this is the finished makeup look. We're not done yet. We're gonna get into the outfit that I'm gonna wear today. And my style is like pretty casual, simple but casual, but usually I would say kind of bad B. But today, I'm feeling the white. Like, I really want to wear white. I feel like white looks really cool with, like, bronzy um, makeup. So that is what I think I'm going to do. So let's go head over to uh, my closet area and make out an outfit. Okay, so this is the outfit that I'm going to be wearing today. So the top is this really cute kind of cropped um, wrap tie shirt. <laughs> this style is actually really, really on trend right now, and I'm liking the trend a lot. And I got this from the Melrose Flea Market. So if you live in LA, that's where I got this. And But you honestly, you can have like, I'll try to find similar stuff online to list down below. But yeah, this stuff is like really on trend right now. And then the necklace is from Lulu's that I'm going to pair with this. I like the pairing of like the white with the gold and tan detailing. So that is what we're going to wear. And since this is low cut, it's going to look really cool with like all the layers and stuff and then this skirt the skirt is actually from Topshop and it's a really nice denim skirt because it actually fits well and it's comfortable to wear and it's nice to just like throw something on really casually and then of course my trusty Converse you guys know I love my Converse I have so many pairs but today I'm just gonna go for the all white they're really dirty right now but um we're still gonna go for it and then for my bag this is a bag that I use like literally every single day but it's the YSL backpack and yeah let's go put it on 
So this is the finished look once I have um, the outfit on. I really like how the denim skirt pairs with the white. I just think white and denim looks really good together. And then, of course, the whole wrap thing is very on trend right now. Alright guys, so that is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. It was a little different than like my normal videos, but... Hopefully it keeps it fun and exciting for you guys. And I can't really do my normal heart thing, but I love you guys inside and out. I'll see you next time.